for limit kicks in 60 seconds. Let's go. First, we have Bernoulli's equation. When velocity goes up, pressure goes down. That's why two sheets of paper get stuck together when you blow between them. Second is hydrostatic pressure. Water pressure increases the further deep you go down in the water. Pressure can be found by multiplying the density of the fluid times gravity times height. The shape of the container is irrelevant. All that matters is the water level height. Third is Reynolds number. If your RE is below 2,000, you have laminar flow. Over 4,000, it is turbulent flow. In between, is considered transitional, where you can't make any accurate predictions. Fourth is head bus. The longer the pipe, the rougher the wall, the faster the flow, the more energy you lose. It's basically like friction. Fifth is maturity effect. If you're in a narrow section of pipe, the fluid will speed up, resulting in a drop in pressure. Sixth is buoyancy. Objects float not because they're light, but because they displace weight. This was proven by Archimedes. Buoyant force is equal to weight of the fluid displaced. Seventh, pumps don't suck. They lower pressure, so the atmosphere pushes fluid in. Every pump is basically a pressure manipulation machine. Eighth, viscosity. If the fluid moves slow, it's because small molecules are resisting deformation. Temperature changes viscosity. Hot oil flows faster. And finally, the conservation of mass. Energy and floats can't just disappear. For example, the pipe gets smaller, the velocity must increase to measure lowering. And that's fluid mechanics in 60 seconds. If you want more interesting videos like this, hit follow, like, or subscribe.